trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. There's a storm coming! Ha <laughs> ha! A firestorm. Get ready to raise your game because watching sports will never be the same. Introducing FireFan. It's a game changer. Finally, a sports app that puts you into the game. You predict the scores, you call the plays in real time while you watch and compete against sports heroes, celebrities, friends, family, or other die-hard fans. The more you call it, the more points you can achieve. Also, be a loyal fan and earn loyalty rewards. Don't miss the hottest app of the year. Fire fan, ignite your passion. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Register now at firefan.com today. Enter player rewards code TDSS. That's player rewards TDSS. Play the game, fan the fire, earn rewards. Clap your hands, everybody, if you got what it takes. Cause I'm KRS and I'm on the mic and premieres on the breaks. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Fantastic, freaky, funny football Friday. Thanks for joining your boy. October 28, 2016. NFL college football talk all day long today. We'll probably get a little sampling from the marching 101 from South Carolina State University. <laughs> yes, sir. This Friday, we're going to get you in a college football frame of mind. You're damn right. Marching 101, doing it big. Uh, we also giving out Ball Peanut Awards. We do an entertainment report a little bit later if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, so that's how we do it around here, man. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. It's Friday, and we give ballers uh, and busters on Monday. But I think it's appropriate, man, that we give out a ball award to the Atlanta Hawks on a big win last night. The first game of the season, they beat the Washington Wizards 114-99. Now, let's talk about this a little bit more. All right? Let's talk about this a little bit more. And it is just one game. I got to make sure and give that disclaimer and preface everything that I say with it is just one game. You got to do that uh, whenever the season's early. I don't care what sport it is. But Dwight Howard last night went pretty big, all right? Um, Paul Millsap scored 28 points. Tim Hardaway Jr. had a good night. The Hawks beat the... The Wizards, once again, 114 to, to 99. Dwight Howard had 19 rebounds to go along with 11 points. Just exactly what the Atlanta Hawks needed now, okay? This is what they need. Yeah. Yeah. Um... And also, man, uh, Anthony Hardaway last night had a big game as well. Uh, what did he do? He scored. What did he do? He scored. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I lost it. Uh, the exact points. But he had a big fourth quarter last night. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. He actually scored 21 points All right, um, for the Atlanta Hawks last night in the fourth quarter. And uh, made a couple of big threes at the very end there to seal a game, you know, with the uh, Washington Wizards. Which is this is a guy who struggled a lot last year. They actually sent him down to the D League for a minute as well to kind of, 
you know, get his uh, his feet back under him. Um, and so big win for the Hawks last night. Uh, and here's the thing about it. Dwight Howard, he gets 19 rebounds. This kind of feels and sounds like the Dwight Howard of, you know, yesteryear. And I talked about this yesterday. I mean, can you get lightning or catch lightning in a bottle with Dwight Howard where, you know, he can be Dwight Howard from eight, nine, ten years ago, really before he left Orlando because he hadn't really done a lot since he left there, didn't do a damn thing in L.A., didn't do a damn thing in Houston really to, to talk about. And so we'll see. It is just one game, once again. It is just one game, but, I mean, uh, you got to feel – Pretty good at what you saw last night. He looked very aggressive. They got him good shots. They kind of make him the focal point, you know, down low, you know, which a lot of his problem was is that he felt like he wasn't the, the focal point when he was in L.A. Even when he went to Houston, you know, he was second fiddle behind James Harden. I mean, he knew that going in, but still, that's, a, that's an issue. So last night looked like the dominant Dwight Howard. Uh, keep it going, man. Good win for the Atlanta Hawks. I'm calling my shot. How about this? I'm calling my shot. I want you. I want you to grab your. I want you to grab your recorders and record this and re- record this this proclamation right here, this prediction by your boy. In the NBA Finals this year, the Atlanta Hawks versus the Los Angeles Lakers. All right, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I wish. I wish. Oh, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. (laughs) Man, could you imagine the Hawks and the Lakers in the finals this year? That's not going to happen. The Lakers definitely not going to hold the the end of that bargain. But the Atlanta Hawks, man, I mean, on paper, they got a solid team. On paper, they got a very solid team, especially once again if Dwight Howard – can turn back into Dwight Howard of yesteryear. All right? You got you got players at pretty much every position. You got a shooter in Kyle Corver. You got a solid power forward in Paul Millsap. You got, you know, if he plays well, once again, the best center probably, you know, on paper-wise in the NBA. Um, or at this point in his career, one of the top two or three. So and I love the shooter kid as well. I've talked about him a lot. He's running the show now. Kind of young, but he – you know, he's a very solid point guard. They just gave a man $70 million. On paper, the Hawks got a squad. So let's see, man. It'd be like uh, the most beautiful thing in the world if the Hawks took on the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. From KC, the last thing Hawks fans, this is in the chat room with Spreaker.com. Make sure you jump into the chat room and join in on the conversation. And the Doug Stewart Show is brought to you by Firefan.com. Firefan.com is here. All right, join my league while you have the chance now. Okay, go to Firefan.com. On the very first page, use promo code TDSS. That's the acronym for the show, the Doug Stewart Show. TDSS, all right? And uh, this is pre-registration. When the app comes out, which we expect to be very, very soon, you'll be down with our league, man, and playing in our weekly fantasy uh, Firefan challenges. All right? Firefan.com. Use promo code TDSS. From KC in the chat room, he says, the last thing the Hawks fans need is Doug calling a shot early. Y'all doomed. What does that mean, sir? So what KC is referring to, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, uh, last year I had a down year in picking, prognosticating games. I did. Highlighted by the fact that I picked Georgia Tech to play in the national championship game in football. Now listen, I will admit that it was a down year, but you have to remember a couple of things. I just want to remind you. That I've been doing this now, we started in 2001. I've been doing this now for 15 years, okay? And my prognostications that were right over the 15 years, the last 15 years, have greatly been accurate. They've been right more so than they've been wrong. What I don't want to understand and what I want to know is why people like Casey and other people in the chat room got to keep bringing up old shit.
As a matter of fact, I'm on a nine, I think nine and oh, for official picks. For official picks, I think I'm nine and oh this year. Yes. So move on. Can you move on? Can you please just move on? From RC, the Hawks would do what they do every year for the past two years, turn into buzzers when they run into the Cavs in the playoffs. I mean, obviously the Cavs are going to be the favorites to win it all this year, um, or to win the East at least. I think Golden State might be favored in Vegas over them, uh, but they're going to be right there at the end. From Texas Ty, from the X squad, he says, Hawks stay in the middle. They'll never lose enough to pick a star in their most horrible offseason moves. I've said that pretty much that same thing since I've been in Atlanta. (laughs) is that the Hawks are always average, which is bad in sports. You either need to be very, very bad so you can get a high draft pick and kind of start over, or you need to be very, very good where you're winning games and you don't care about draft picks. And the Hawks have been consistently, ever since I've been in Atlanta, man, been right there in the middle. They haven't been bad, bad. You know, the Joe Johnson years, they were pretty decent. They made it to the playoffs. Once in a while, you know, they'd win a first-round series, but that was very rare. Um... But for the most part, man, they've been average, which is which is not good. That's a very good point, Texas High. From uh, Grego X Squad, he says, who does the Georgia State University play this weekend? I don't know who the hell Georgia State plays this weekend. From Tiffany Poodle in Portland. Hey, Tiffany Poodle in Portland. She says, I made it in early just for y'all, Stewies. Good morning, loves. Tiffany, we appreciate you coming into the chat room early and brightness, uh, brightening up the chat room with your smile there. From Tiffany Poodle in Portland, again, she says, Texas Tie, I guess she's just giving him a shout-out. Um, from Dell, more football talk blue. Doug just gave the elbow of death to the Hawks by mistake. You shut up, Dell, devil in blue. See, that's the problem with the Stewies, man. You, you listen to the Doug Stewart show, man. This is the problem with the Stewies, man. Y'all very fickle, okay? Y'all very fickle. Y'all want to harp on old stuff once again. I mean, that Georgia Tech thing was last year. Y'all still talking about it now? Is that what you do to your fearless leader? You bring up old, embarrassing stuff and throw it in his face? I thought we was cool. I thought we was peoples, huh? I expected out of Big Apple Bastard and Angry Black Man and people like that and Ninja. But I don't expect that out of y'all, KC. And Dell, more football talk blue. I don't expect that out of my peoples. Come on, man. We better than that. We peoples. Your ball penis nominees for this week. Speaking of which, Angry Black Man and Stewie. Big Apple Bastard, that Ninja. Then y'all also nominated J. Clyde, Grego. This is... A constant thing with Grego. Mocha Bella, the Stuette. Bootsy, the Stewie. Tiffany Sports and Heels, the Stuette. That's your nominees. Go to the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group and vote. All right? This is a democratic society around here. We do everything on the up and up. Voting, prognostications, and unwritten rule of being a man and a sports fan. If you make a bad prognostication a year ago, you forget about it. Let's move on. Damn. Back in three minutes. Damn it. Mic check. (laughs) Yes. This is your humble host, Marcus Harper. And make sure you check out my show, the Marcus Harper Podcast, on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. (laughs) Yes. Hop aboard this train of thought weekly. 60 minutes of work. I got you. Sports talk, soul beats, and life. (laughs) Again, the Marcus Harper Podcast, weekly on the SME Network. Check me out. Life is good. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? 